good, eh? This is the Adelaide Old Fart. This is my first ride out with the sidecar. Well, not the first ride, but my first major ride. My first uh, riding video with the sidecar. Um, and uh, I'm, a mate and I are heading out to Port Gawler, which I've been to before and have recorded it before, but it's close, it's convenient. Sorry, you'll just have to put up with a double up. Excuse me while I concentrate on the left hander, which I handle with absolutely no problems at all. If I had ignored it, I would have had the wheel lifting. <sighs> it's more of a practice ride than anything else. I'm starting to feel quite comfortable on the uh, sidecar now. Slow corners are still a nightmare, but um, I'll get there. It's probably me to just be worrying about it too much. And of course, once you start getting confident, that's when you start running into trouble. Ha ha! How does the Himalayan handle the sidecar? You may ask. She doesn't seem to notice us there. The ride up, I've had it sitting on 100 kilometres an hour without a problem. Tracking dead straight, pulls up to it quite easily, it seems to accelerate away as it always has. Um, mind you, I'm not an aggressive rider, so uh, uh, what would I know? I'm not out rigging its neck or doing anything silly. And up here a bit. Opportunity to ride on dirt, and it's really rough dirt, so that should be interesting. Yeah, so, what's it like riding the Himalayan with the sidecar? Very in my mind, it's a very light sidecar. I've seen some humongous great things bolted on the side of Himalayans, and that would slow them down. This one is a very light one, um, it doesn't seem to make much difference. What's it like riding a sidecar? It's different. I mean for starters you've got to turn left to go left, turn right to go right, which is the opposite of what you're used to when you're solo. Um, and you need quite large steering movements, as opposed to very gentle ones. Keep a very firm hand on the handlebars and push really hard because that's what uh, um, dampens out the head shakes such as are. Uh, this one's pretty good. Feathering the clutch isn't the greatest thing you can do on earth. going over it in first. <sighs> so do we go out to the back tracks or down to the port? Oh, let's do this.
Okay, this is the Adelaide Isle Fart. I'm just going to do my first bit of dirt road riding with the sidecar. It's a bit of a rough road, this one. So we'll see how we go. Actually heading down to the old port of Port Gawler. Swampy, uh, salty floodplains on either side of us. This road was actually built as a raised causeway so, um, to provide access to the port. It's all salt bush. When we get further down, it's mangrove. The port's not there now. It uh, was burned out oh, nearly 100 years ago, I think. No, 100 years ago, it was still in operation. And we're into the mangroves. Probably taking this too fast. Oh god, there's a bloody car coming. Oh, hell, it's busy. Fisheries, fish care. Okay, and now we are going to record the escape from Port Gawler. Back up that road again. Far out. <sighs> this is a rough bit of road, this one. Yeah, 
it's okay if you keep the speed up because it sort of rides through and over the bumps that way rather than settling into them and of course if you go too fast you lose control it's all right mangroves and swamp fall into that you'll be safe and big bump Gotta remember I've got a sidecar down there and not get too close to the side. The easy formula is to ride in the car's tyre prints. It's surprising how hard that can be to train yourself to do when you spend all your years riding a motorbike solo. bucking and carrying on but no worse than it would be as a solo because it's not a smooth road it probably looks it but it's not this is rough I'm usually standing there not game enough to do it with the chair on not sure if I should put the chair on which it seems to ignore and there we are we have escaped Port Gawler aha we're free they will never have us again Complete dawdle. Okay. this white cat, no one coming. Oh, crew. 